vlog. Uh, welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, we're still on the Oxford Canal, obviously. We're still going south. We're heading towards Oxford. The first major town would be Banbury, I believe. Oh, lovely. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get there in this vlog, but keep watching and you'll find out. Uh, we should certainly get to... What is it called? Cropridy. Well, oh, Fen Crop yeah, Fenny Compton. Fenny Compton is where we're heading for learning. now. Yeah, you're doing well. You've been reading them maps again, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> We've got no locks for this 11 yes! mile section or however long it is, but it is very, if you look on the map, it's like... Wiggly wobbly. Well, no, I, wiggly, like a worm. <laughs> yeah, it goes up and then down and then back up again. In fact, if you go straight across, I think it's only three miles, but we've got 11 or 12 mile, wherever it is to go there. Um, we'll also go past uh, a big mound of earth, which oh. apparently is going to be the new HS2. That's high speed rail link. Oh, I'm glad you enlightened me on that. Yes, uh, I don't know where it is. We'll find out and we'll go past it. I think it is still a mound of earth with some diggers, I believe. This is what they call the summit of the Oxford Canal. We're not going to get any higher. Those last nine locks took us as high as we're going to go. But the next locks we get to at Claydon will take us down and we'll start dropping down until we get onto the Thames, which will be sea level, obviously. So we should get some good views here, being the high section, I would think. There are some lovely views, lots of nice fields, lots of greenery. But yes, a bit wibbly wobbly, wiggly wobbly. <laughs> it's, that, it's that Brindley bloke, he can't draw straight lines, bless him. He could never draw straight lines, could he? Actually, he did pretty well. He did pretty well, didn't he, old Brindley, to design and get this all built. I mean, what he's basically doing is going around the hills to avoid locks, because more locks equals more time, more money, more costs. And me knackered. <laughs> and those <laughs> boaters getting a bit of a sweat on. Talking of sweating, it is uh, allegedly the hottest day today. It's supposed to be getting up into the 30s. I think by about one o'clock. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to get to where we're going to get to, Fenny. If we can find any more, we're going to stay there for the weekend. Um, but in the meantime, we'll just enjoy the beautiful sunshine. Yes, that is a narrow boat in the middle of a field. Somebody does live on it. It's in water and it's got a bit of land with it as well and some sheep. Quite a rural idyll. Thank you.
big mound of earth. That's part of the HS2 construction. And I don't want to get political, but you have to ask yourself, is it worth it just for saving, what, an hour or half an hour of your journey time from London to the north? Especially when we do a lot of business now online. I'll leave you to ponder that one. Boat coming. And there's a boat coming. All I know about HS2 is it looks bloody awful. film this bridge because I think this is the last time anybody will see it. Most of it's gone from the top anyway I think. bridge 128 I don't think we're gonna see that much longer the only reason I'm saying that is because it looks like there's a lot of Harris fencing over there and that's where an HS2 bridge is gonna go just my guess everybody it's a bit quiet because it's a Sunday morning and I don't want to disturb the neighbors but before we start off this morning I just wanted to mention about this thing this is a tiller as you know a tiller handle and on a trad stern like this this comes all the way into where I'm standing which is great if you're in the winter this little area that I'm stood in now gives you a bit of protection against the weather obviously not the top but certainly the bottom and I've got a little fan as well in here that can blow hot air onto my feet and legs keeping the bottom half of my body warm but the thing is on summer days and also to give you a bit of extra room because this is quite long you can get a shortened tiller and one that uh, actually folds up in fact you can get one like this that folds up if you wanted to um, but when we first bought the boat or just after we'd first bought the boat I decided to purchase a um, smaller tiller handle which looks like this with a bend in the middle see so I'm thinking today is a good day to take that one off put this one on that means I can stand at the back a little bit it gives me some more room uh, and also I can stand on the mat, which is better for your feet. Shiny new one. Needs a tiller pin. I've got a hippo, just a normal one. There we 
a lot shorter and it lifts up. Let's get going. like a hairpin bend coming up now and with everything overgrown you can't see what's coming the other way and it's very narrow Oh, and then there's a bridge. <laughs> of course there's a bridge. The bend continues. And there's a moored boat. <laughs>
Well, we're just coming through Fenny Compton and on the right here, on the starboard side, you can see Fenny Compton Marina. I did my uh, Helmsman's course here. I think it was called Top Cat Enterprises or something like that. Also, Fenny Compton Marina is famous for one other resident. A boat called Rag Doll. Cue the music. Rosie and Jim, Rosie and Jim, tagging along on the old Rag Doll. I don't know whether it's still here, but um, yeah, Rosie and Jim's boat used to be moored here. I must admit I can't see it anywhere. If you know where it is, drop a note in the comments. This narrow section, starting by bridge 137, is all that remains of Fenny Compton Tunnel. What happened to it? Well, the story goes that it wasn't constructed of good enough materials and it started flaking and breaking off and so in the end they decided to take the roof off the tunnel and all that's left is this narrow channel. It's about a thousand yards I think in total. Surprised to see a boat moored here though. Clouds are looking very ominous, aren't they? We've had some rain overnight. It's supposed to be, but it's supposed to be staying dry today. Right, so here we are at the first of the Claydon Locks. Well, here we are in Cropridi. You may have heard of Cropridi because it holds an annual music festival every August. It hasn't done for a couple of years, obviously, because of COVID and everything. But I believe it's on this year. It's famous for one particular group called Fairport Convention. So if you like a bit of folk music, then this is the place where you will be coming to. There's a marina here and there's some facilities and hopefully, fingers crossed, a mooring.
Well, anyway, here we are at lovely Cropridi. Oh, it's lovely. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> lovely place. And last night... Pardon? Last night, I'm just going to tell people what happened last night. What happened last night? Some bizarre sunset. The colours in the sky was just amazing. I, we, I took the drone up and I've not done anything with these images whatsoever, but we went on Twitter and everywhere else around the country. Yeah, but people were tweeting the same sort of pictures with this golden sunset. But didn't that happen on Saturday night when we were on the Zoom? We didn't get it. No. Uh, but the people who were on the Zoom too, um, Mentor Skewiff and uh, yeah. Steve and everybody and Andy, um, all of a sudden they just vanished from the Zoom call and they were like, look at this wonderful sky. And we didn't have any of it. It was just no. chucking it down. And so maybe it was our night last yeah, night. Yeah, maybe it was our night. And presumably where you were, it was the same. Or it was raining, wasn't it? <laughs> Anyhow... If you've enjoyed this little vlog, don't forget thumbs up for a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Totally free to subscribe. Nobody asks you for any money whatsoever. No. Or any bribes or twist your arm to All say right. buy us a coffee or anything. And just subscribe to the channel. Fantastic. We're, we're getting close to 4,000. When we get to 5,000, I've said before, we're going to do a free giveaway. Ooh, Blimey, I'll be older by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got some new merch so there oh we it's go. nice very nice yeah. hopefully we can wear some i want some new tops yeah uh, so thumbs up for a like subscribe if you haven't already subscribe for free and then when you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon ding and youtube will notify you next time we upload a vlog in the meantime stay safe everybody happy cruising bye bye